today we're going to look at how to connect to QuickBooks using the coefficient add-on to sync your data in Google Sheets. If you do not have the coefficient add-on, go to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, and then search for coefficient in the add-on store. Once you have it downloaded, then you can proceed with the rest of this tutorial. So when you have the add-on installed, you can click import from and select the source. So as you can see, we have many sources available. We're going to go ahead and find QuickBooks. And here we go. We'll click connect and then authorize. This will bring up a pop-up and it may ask you to log into QuickBooks if you have not already, and then it will grant access. And here you can share with your team members if necessary, if you have a Google domain. Once you have the connection authorized, several different methods. So you can select a QuickBooks report. And then you can choose the report you would like to, to view. If you click next, it will give you a preview of the data to bring in. And you can select the fields you want to bring in, the report period. You can search for fields. You can also apply filters. You can also toggle the report type here. Click change and select a different report. And then it will be summarized there. And again, you can pick how you want to display your columns. If you want to pick totals, you can pick months. Your first preview. You see it broken down by month. And you can pick the counting method and so forth. So there's plenty of options here that you can select. And again, you can do filters here. It has the appropriate filters depending on what you have selected. You can go ahead and click done here. And then we can import this report. And when it's done importing, you can select if you want it to auto refresh. You can select not right now if you want to do it manually. And then you can see the different options here. You can set the refresh schedule. You can edit the report. You can edit the fields. You can actually edit and add a filter here. Click run if you want to rerun it. Uh, you can also save this as part of your library and make it quickly able to find. We can go back here. We can go back to our import and QuickBooks. We can select different objects and fields. And again, we'll have a pop up here, <laughs> drilling down. So we can pick our estimates here, for example. And then you can select the fields again and do as you need to like import a new import with the estimate. And again, you can set the refresh schedule. We'll go back and our final one we'll look at real quick here is you can also do a custom query if you know how to write SQL language. This just pulls up. So for example, we can do a query like select all through voice total amount greater than a thousand. Click refresh preview and there you can see that import there, we can import this. And there's the results of our custom SQL query. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully that helps you to see how you can easily connect to QuickBooks, pull the reports and import them directly into Google Sheets. And you can set up schedules to have them refresh automatically so it's always up to date. 